Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Yay, get the paint again. Uh, back in New York City uh, for anywhere from two to four weeks. I don't know. But while I have the entire apartment to myself that time, we'll be missing my family. Um, but I can paint, so I'm really stressed out. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, let's get done on the canvas first. So I'm reusing um, a little, what is this, a 12 by 12 little uh, birchwood cradle wood. I don't remember what was on it, but apparently I didn't like it and I scraped it. And I have nothing in mind. I know I owe you guys a sponge painting and a live video. Um, so tonight, honest to God, I just grabbed whatever, whatever colors caught my eye, which was, you know, a lot. <laughs> Um, and I thought I'd just do a little rainbow pour. I'm still experimenting with my GAC 800. Um, so tonight, nothing but GAC is the pouring medium. A couple colors have a dash of water only because they were heavy body. Um, and I was gonna show you how much I add. So all the other colors are mixed. But right here, this is Artist Loft. This is Brilliant Magenta. There's probably almost an ounce of paint in the, in the bottom of this nine ounce cup. So what I do is I just add GAC. I give a really healthy squirt and I try to shoot for a 50-50 ratio like that. And then I just give that a good mix. It takes a minute or you know, not a minute, but you know, a good 20 seconds or so for it to uh, absorb into the color. Give that a mix. And already you can tell I didn't add enough because it's still kinda, kinda lumpy. So I'm gonna give it another healthy squirt like that. And give this a stir. pretty good it's probably the other thing I'm doing different or other thing I'm not doing anything different the new thing I'm doing different tonight is instead of just adding one or two drops of silicone my treadmill silicone uh, you can't even read that anymore it's almost gone and I have a new bottle that at least to be able to read it uh, I'm adding four or five drops to all the colors except for my titanium white. Just to, just for giggles, just to see what will happen since this is a relatively small canvas. I think it's the only experiment with the GAC I haven't tried over the last uh, four or five videos. This still seems a little lumpy to me. I mean, it's pouring off the stick okay, but let me just stir another 20 seconds or so. see what happens it's really uh, it's really kind of creepy being here all by myself uh, in the city I was going to go down to the 9-11 uh, memorial since it is 9-11 um, but when I got off the train at Penn Station uh, I heard that it's just an absolute zoo down there and I was just too tired to fight it plus I had to come all the way uptown to drop off my luggage so and then I walked into my apartment had a hissy fit um, and decided not to go out so here I am all right so that's better I'm gonna add just a couple drops of water to this one um, just because it's still a little thick and I don't want to add any more GAC. So I don't know, can you see that? I mean, just the smallest little, little like three little raindrops of water right there. Just to smooth it out just a little bit more. And there we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. And I like it because it's not too, uh, 
It's not too runny. I have a little bit of trace sitting on the paint in my cup for like a second before it dissipates. That's my preferred uh, consistency right there. I think lately I've been doing a little thinner than that, so I'm happy to see that right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like four drops in there. And I'm gonna stir it a little more than normal too. Usually I just, you know, make a stir like that and that's it. And I mix that in there pretty well, just to see what happens. So other colors besides the uh, magenta, I have, this is my um, heavy body one. So this is my, uh, my yellow, medium yellow uh, from uh, Liquitex. This blue is a uh, basics. This is the cobalt blue in this cup. And what else look up here? My dark color for this painting is my Payne's Gray, my go-to color, and that's Blick. I also have another Blick, which is my cadmium red medium hue, which is basically a bright orange. Come on, let's admit it. Uh, what else? For green, I have this lovely green right here, and this is just light green, Artist Loft. And then I have a purple, told ya. I was, I just couldn't pick, uh, pick a color theme tonight. This is Artist Loft Violet. And I'm missing, oh, I'm missing one. And the last one, this is uh, Light Phalo Blue. This is golden. This color is, uh, extremely popular whenever I get on the Blix they're always uh, out of stock it's one of their newer colors it came out um, six eight months ago something like that maybe a year ago but it's uh, really popular and then um, about uh, two ounces of the titanium white so those are the colors I'm just gonna layer these into one I think one big cup um, and we'll see what happens. I'll grab a cup. Yeah, I'll put that there. Can you see okay? I think you can see okay. Let me move these down here. So my family's back in Virginia, living in a hotel. We have our dog and our cat in our empty house. We go to visit twice a day, work on the house, do some, you know, wall painting, clean the floors real good, you know, dork around in our house. Let me put on some gloves. My daughter's back in her school. My husband and I go to work. And we live in a hotel. And while we were back there, you know, uh, my husband had to buy a car right away, which, you know, we weren't anticipating that cost. I'm going to have to buy a car when I get back. Um, over Labor Day weekend, we get a call from our building management here to tell us that a coil in the AC unit in our living room of this apartment burst over the weekend and flooded our apartment. So... It doesn't look like there's any real damage to the furniture because all of our area rugs uh, soaked up the water. So that's good. Um, but my floor in my living room, dining room, kitchen, hallway is destroyed. And I don't know if you could see it, you know, when I put the camera up like that that floor right there those are just um, these are parquet floors all those little squares they are these guys they're all over my living room all torn up it looked like someone came in with a jackhammer and just oops and they're sticky and um, lift them all up and the thing that worries me is under a couple of them there's some black mold, which is not good at all. So I went up to the office and, uh, you know, Labor Day was what, 10 days ago? 
and they hadn't, well, they dried out the apartment. They had my rugs washed. Half of my rugs are still missing. Um, some were returned. Um, and they did dry out the apartment. Like it doesn't smell in here or anything, which is good. But I really need them to come and get rid of the uh, old flooring, clean the mold and put down new flooring. You know, I don't really care how that happens, just as long as it happens while I'm at work. Um, so that kind of added to the, the whole stress of our situation. I'm sorry I sound like a gloomy Gus the last uh, couple videos. I can't help it. It's just been, um, it's been a rough couple of months. So... These were some pretty happy colors though. I was gonna say, I can't remember the last time I used this many colors in a pour. Let me uh, add some white in the middle of all this. That's enough. A couple more. I forgot my green. And the purple. I think that should do it. See what happens. Let's do a flip cup. Have a, a little bit of every color and I have a couple of uh, little five by fives I might have to throw these on we could do that while we wait in a second thank you all for the nice comments uh, either on the YouTube channel or on my waterfall acrylics page um, appreciated it cheered me up. Um, if you haven't been to my Waterfall Acrylics page, I just broke 2,000 followers and as a thank you, I'm giving away a painting. And all you have to do is go and like my post. That's it. And then I think next, on Friday, I'll take all the names and put them in a hat. Pick a lucky winner. And um, 
they'll get they'll get a uh, 10 by 20 painting and the colors of their choice shipped to them for free pretty good deal if you ask me so we haven't gone to my uh, waterfall acrylics page on Facebook you might want to do that this week in particular just you know it's always good to get free stuff right mm. okay kind of sitting there. Hmm. Do I torch now or later? I think I'll torch now. Torch. Get some bubbles. Stop there. Maybe we'll torch again after we give this a tilt. It's um, it's interesting. It's much more subdued than I thought it was with all those bright colors. Maybe they're lurking underneath. It's kind of. It's almost uh, almost pastelly. Let me uh, come up here and go off this side first. this corner over here. Wiggle my way down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come back up. Ooh, now it's looking uh, like candy. Glad I'm going this way. Stretch out some of those cells in one spot I don't like so much. I'm going to roll them right off, actually. I don't like that one spot. I don't like the white. Go away, white. in my hands that time. As usual, not at all what I expected. It is very subdued for uh, the colors that are in this painting. I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. Oh, and it's still selling up like, like mad too. Look at that. For doing the background, just cause uh, I'm curious about um, the cells. I wonder if it's the, the silicone. I don't know what's going on. Isn't that interesting? Getting kind of crowded. I'm almost just for fun 
gonna like twist it a little more and then tilt it a little more. It's it's almost like a underground water garden, underwater water garden. Does that even make any sense at all? Uh, hmm. Hold on one sec. I don't like this part. I know that. Time to be picky. The yellow and the green almost uh, went neon. Very interesting experiment with uh, just PAC and the uh, extra silicone. very busy. It, it kind of reminds me of the uh, Vallejo pouring medium. Um, there were parts of this that are really pretty. This up here and this right here. They're almost uh, pearl-like. That's what it is. They're very pearly. So let me let me try to get rid of some of this really super busy area here, and maybe right here. These all almost look like oysters. Hmm. Let's see what happens if it one will let me at least stretch it out a little bit. Get rid of a little bit of that yellow right there. Good. Thank you. Come back. You guys, there's one one part here. I'm, hopefully, I'll be able to get it on the camera when I zoom in. It's it's like translucent. Like you can see the layers of paint underneath this. It like like has a clear film. You can see the cells, and then you can see purple cells or orange cells underneath. It's really, uh, really very interesting. I might, uh, I might do this again with fewer colors to see what happens. Um, this is unlike anything, at least uh, palette-wise, that I've made before. So. I don't know what else. My um, I don't have to worry about my sides because they're taped. Since this is on the hardwood, I only do the uh, the top, so I don't have to worry about the sides. Um, let me try to get the camera down so you guys can see. And I might film. I'm about to mix up a little more white, and I'm going to film again just on my two little guys sitting right here. Uh, with fewer colors and I'll film that and we'll see uh, see how they turn out too but uh, really interesting effect let me see if I can show you guys Turn it down now there's gonna be a shadow this way can you guys see that, like how pearly it is? I'll have to try and take some uh, really good photos of this. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Well, where am I? That's an experiment I'm going to have to try again. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.